The most important value for me is justice. I was 11 when I first heard about the Holocaust. Of course, I did not understand what it meant, what Holocaust is. I was sitting with my family in the living room, and this was the eve of Holocaust Day in Israel, and I watched films and discussions which I really did not understand. When my mother tucked me in as she did every night, I asked her when I can raise a question. And she said, of course. And I said, you know, there's a lot I did not understand tonight. Maybe we should reflect on just one photo. This one photo showed men, women, children standing in line. Seems they were waiting for something. Seems that it was cold and everyone was naked. I never seen men and women and children together naked and waiting for what? So I said, what are they waiting for? And she answered, they were waiting to be killed. And I said, why did they commit any crime? And she said, not really. I said, so why? And she said, because they were Jews. I said, because they are Jews. Is this a reason to kill people? And she said, yes. I saw children there. Does it mean that if I was there, they would kill me as well? And she said, yes. I could not sleep much that night. And the following morning, I went to the teacher in my class and I said, shall we discuss the Holocaust today? And she said, no, you are too young. So I went to the library. I took the very first book about the Holocaust. I still remember the title. It was the sellers of cigarettes from the Three Crosses Square. And it was about children in the Warsaw Ghetto who smuggled every day just to bring some food to the families by selling cigarettes. And from that on, I embarked on a life journey to understand three things. Why us? Why are the victims? Why them? Why the Germans did this to us? And the third one, why did the world allow this to happen? And uh, this was a long journey that involved a lot of reading and also meeting and interviewing Holocaust survivors in many countries in the world. I learned to stand against injustice, to protect any minority, to protest against persecution, and to promote the rights of all humans. And justice knows no color, no ethnicity, no religion, no nationality. Justice is blind. And justice dictates to us that we have to fight against evil because evil prevails when there is silence. Evil loves silence because silence permits and allows it to continue and to prevail. Never again. Always to stand against injustice and to fight for the rights of minorities.